Oh, well, you, you're allowing her to get ran through. Adam, what kind of man are you? A very open-minded I mean, one. You competed to. Yeah, to, you were there. What's the fuck are we talking about? Love. I mean, but I'm just saying, Adam. You know, but you 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 you're a married man. I, I so know. Look, For uh, now, the first episode to it's called for the love. Of Lena, for the love of Lena. Everybody yeah. go watch episode one on the No Jumper channel. We love Lena. We do love. So, her. Crit Mac, <laughs> I've been seeing comments. What have you been saying about you since you was on the show? Uh, pretty much. I, I I should win. You know, I should win. I said, yeah. You know, they asked me. They said, hey, you know, you still in the show? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm still in the show. I'm good. Maybe I will win. We're gonna, we're gonna see. Yeah. Oh, you had fun shooting uh, it. Like that was your first. Oh yeah, yeah. It was, it was cool. Yeah. I, yeah, it was interesting. We ate sandwiches off day, Adam. There was a lot of sandwiches. Those God are from Mendocino damn. Farms. Uh, it was cool, though. It was, it was a lot healthier. Yeah. A lot healthier. I wish you would have brought some Lupe's tacos. Yeah, we didn't have any tacos. We just oh, had Lupe, sandwiches. Lupe makes the best tacos. Right. We had bagels. Oh, yeah. What was the, were there any moments from the filming that stood out to you? I was like, wow, that was a great time. Uh, I like the TikTok dance. Oh, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed that, too. <laughs> that was cool. We did a lot of good yeah. TikToks. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was that was the coolest part. And uh, the tug-of-war push-up competition was cool. Was there any of the guys that you didn't really care for? Well, it was uh, the, the, the French guy. He just seemed like he... Alex. Uh, Alex. Alex Legend. Cutting, yeah, that was cutting out. He just seemed like he was... Um, he, 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 he was stirring Lena against me. He was trying to turn Lena against you. Why? Yeah. How? Uh, he was just saying other that I, that I don't say. Really? Who was the dude in the first episode uh, that said he could beat your ass? Rat Dick Ralph? Ralph, Ralph Dick thinks he could beat me up. I fight uh, with my hands. Lena asked that. She she asked him. She was like, who would win in a fight? And he said he'll whoop your ass. Remember? Don't fight, fight. Crip Cut would never beat my ass. What's that? Be up with a fight with Ralph Dick Ralph. I'll beat the fuck out of Cut. Yeah, he's from Danny Mullen's crew. Nah, I beat the fuck out of come a lot stronger, and I've been doing jumping jacks every day. They say I'm looking in better shape. So you're over the burpees and just doing the jumping jacks? No, I do the jumping jacks, do the push-ups and the weights. Okay. But jumping jacks is really where the stamina is. Right. I figured that out. The burpees know? go crazy too, though. Oh yeah, all of it too. But jumping jacks is just it's the stamina because the push-ups is with the same thing as doing the jumping jacks, which is doing the the push-ups and doing, uh, you know, the curpees at the same time. Cause you gotta see it's working the same shit, then work your legs. Every fucking day, you know. Kirby's is crazy. I don't know. Right. Um. So okay, I I had like kind of a, a wave of emotion go through my body because we introduced Kurt Mack on the Ralph show. I fight Dick Ralph. Rat Dick Ralph. I fight Kurt. Yeah. Rat Dick Ralph K. Um, yeah. But oh, meanwhile, he, he ain't gonna have all. So he he Kurt, meets. Kurt not, Kurt not gonna have no competition with me. He meets Lena on the under, show. I'm gonna underestimate him, but I'm 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 gonna get Kurt a real beating. Yeah, you'll probably fuck him up. But uh, yeah. I introduced him to Lena on the show. He and was very disrespectful on the show. The he, clothes he wore with his ass hanging out. He had a rat actually within his yeah, thong. Yeah, in the front. Yeah, in the front, and his ass hanging out like that. No. You weren't feeling that. No, hell no. It was a little zesty. That was that was that was uh, that was rainbowish. Yeah. But okay, you walked up and grabbed Lena's ass. I did, and it was a weird feeling for me because obviously, if but this Lena were to happen in Lena, a separate environment, Lena wasn't upset. You thought there was a little dis disrespect file. Lena wasn't <sighs> upset though. I think it was a little disrespect file, but I do also like. I'm like, all right, we're hey, filming on, a show where these guys are competing hey, for on. her love. It wasn't aggressive. We gave her a hug. I gently grabbed her ass. Is that what I'm saying? But you wouldn't do that at No Jumper. Were you, did you feel turned up from the cameras? About what? Like enough to grab her ass? Like what, what got well, into you that day? Well, I know we're getting ready to have sex with her soon. So I, said. <laughs> I, I was happy. I was happy. You know? that, was, that was my mentality, too. It's like I can't really like lay the law down and just be like, no, you're not allowed. Because it's like it's for the reality show. It's supposed to be entertaining. I can't, I can't be as strict and rigid as I would normally want to be. But for a second, you was like, what the fuck was that? For a second, I was ready to, to fade him, yes. <laughs> and we almost got into it. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was real close. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but we all know Adam's going to stand up for his wife's ass. But not in that case. In that case, I just let you grab it. <laughs> Shit, I see you back with Tanil. What the fuck? What, yeah, what's oh, going on? Oh, it's a happy day in my life, right? Yeah, it's a happy day in my life. Um, putting everything together. You know, I got my EP coming out Thanksgiving with her. We already got that done. We're doing uh, OnlyFans. It's her C day this day, so I'll, she never done anal, so I was gonna bust her asshole open today. Whoa! It's her C day. 
This Today day. is her C day? It's her C day, yeah. What the fuck? So I'm kind of mad y'all broke up. She's five years younger than you. You could have been like three months into the relationship already. Well, uh, no, it was the snitch boy. The snitch boy was 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 him and uh, somebody else. They was trying to look at you know, different areas on Husker. So Carl was uh, getting close to whichever room I was in with her, though. You find me? Wait and a I minute. Wait, he was getting close. Snoopy, Snoopy Badass better? was lurking on you while you were Carl fucking her? Carl was dropping. No, he was dropping different locations close to where the shit was type shit. To, what, to where what shit was? Where I was in the sitch was. So you were kicking it with her, and he was pulling up? No, Carl was on the internet talking about how the different, you know, how different rooms look, okay. what areas I'm possibly in. Like, Cuck kept getting closer and closer and closer. I'm like, God damn, Because uh, uh, you've been low-key like, lately? And then I'm like, fifth of all, this, this is not, you know, and it, it, just, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't going how I wanted it to go. Uh-huh. Know? On hood. Like, when you God were dealing with Tania at first, where would y'all be chilling at? Her spot is home? How we even know where your low was at? Did she got a had, spot? No, no. Where'd she stay? It was, uh... I can't tell you where she's Well, not, is. like, actually, yeah. but she has, like, an apartment, or? I mean, she has something similar, five in an apartment, trying to build it like an apartment. Which, it sounded uh, like some backdoor shit. She was sending the low? No, cuz, it's not cuz. How the shit. fuck he was just finding your location? Just, you gotta look at the internet. What, 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 what snakes want fame the most? Yeah. Yeah. But he seemed like he was over her. Like, he said that the kids weren't his. Yeah, that's that's exactly why I woke up. I ain't gotta worry about cuz now. Now I'm gonna fuck the shit out of her. Okay. Cut out the picture. But how'd you end up getting over your, your issues that you had with her before? Well, uh, she talked with, uh, you know, Spider Loke. Uh, okay. Because she was saying the shit about the tattoos. Spider Loke was letting her know, like, because she really don't know as much for us about all the gang type shit like that. So she fired, like, she didn't know that it was disrespect telling me, you know, you should remove this. So, you know, so her and, the, and her kids, whatever, like, you fight me, cut. You know, everything could see safe, you know, uh, on hood, around going, you know, around public. But Spider Loke was, uh, let her know. He, he did a, a small uh, podcast, like, interview, I think, with her, right? And he did. He let her know that when a gangbanger removes any eye busters like this, any tattoos like this, you might, it's, it's like pissing on your dead homie's grave. You know? you know, so once she realized that, right, we was able to try to work something out. And I let her know like this. I say, look, uh, we gonna put this EP out. You gonna work with me on Husters? I got China Mac helping me with shit on Husters. So we gonna we gonna we gonna make everything make sense. When you drop some cub, me and China Mac also gonna get paid. Some real smart. So I came out like the Mac Cross in this motherfucker. But she was serious about you removing the forehead tattoo. Yeah, she she, she talked with the church people. Cub. There's a lot of other guys out there. If you want to date a guy who doesn't have like. You know, a declaration of war tattooed on his forehead. There's a lot of other guys, like almost every other guy. You got it. When you got shit tattooed like that, you got to live up for it. Yeah. You got to live up for it. And getting it lasered off your face probably would be a bad look for someone in your position, right? Uh, now, even if that was just somebody normal that wasn't five minutes, that's still a bad look. It's right. like, tell why the fuck you get it? So Tania not from anywhere? Because I, I just assumed she was a crip. No, she is not a crib. She grew up in a, you know, a, 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 a small Damu area. Yeah, because she had uh, three fake kids with Snoopy Badass. She, uh, according to Snoopy Badass, she used to be fucking with YG. So she has moved on to the blue side. It would seem. Was she wearing a blue crib dress in the Husta video? I'm in love with her. Yeah, I'm in love. So with that's why I assume she was a crib. Right, right now, no, no, she's not. No, no. But look, just... imagine if y'all never broke up. How many views that video would be at right now? Oh my god. Probably so, so, so many millions. But it, it was so many different snakes and so many people close by me just just jealous and hate. Cause it was like it was it was it, was, it was, hate. Now it's still a lot of hate. You find me. But people gotta realize, all oh, right, uh, her cat ground was you find me like like that's where she was she was sucking and fucking these old men. You know, she told me the story. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait. And the story was she just got out of the county jail, right? She just got out of jail, whatever. It was Christmas time, her kids needed some Christmas stuff, cause she didn't have no increments. And I'm like looking like cuh, look how many motherfuckers grannies, these street sitches, people's mamas cuh, just sell pussy on a normal cuh. On neighborhood crib, and they gonna do it the rest of their life and stay croak. This sitch got a million dollar voice. I said, "Cut, look, we gonna put this music fight together on Hustus. We put this OnlyFans shit fight together, and we gonna split everything down the motherfucking half in the middle. We got China Max behind us, cut. You gonna run under my shit? I got going on hood. I came out to Mac Carson the whole situation. So however the shit go, I'm gonna get paid. So F6. it doesn't bother you that she used to sell pussy? I mean, cut. I know normal sitches that 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 sold pussy." I got exes, we don't want to mention names. I got some exes years ago, cuz, like five to ten years ago, cuz, that, that used to sell pussy. Right. You find me? So it's just, 
How they bring it up, though, now, cuz, is her past, they not trying to let her elevate in life, cuz. You fight me? They don't care that she trying to do better fight herself, cuz. She a motherfucker that got, like I said, a million-dollar voice. She ain't got to sell pussy. A $55 million voice. $55 you, million. How you be in the first place? You bought some pussy from her when you first met her? Nah. <laughs> I didn't buy no pussy from her. I heard that y'all signed her. I heard that you and Crip and China Mac signed her to a management deal at a certain point. I and mean, granted, this was a person basically telling me the relationship was fake. I I still don't really know what to believe. No, I, I work I work with her. What I work with her, care we, we do what we do with the increments, car. You find me on hustlers, but uh, I never I would never say that. Cause I ain't never bought no pussy from her. But I'm so glad that me and her never did OnlyFans together because that probably would have really impacted your ability to get back with her. <laughs> uh, I mean, if she goes, if she goes, she goes stoop that low to go that high in her life. That, that stoop that's her that name. low? How yeah. dare you? <laughs> what to sleep with a white man? I ain't say that. Cause I'm just saying that she go, she go put herself out there like that. Cause that's you fight me. That's that's how it is. Okay, but uh-huh. hypothetically, if she had done plug talk with me and Lena the plug, would you have still been able to fall in love with her again? Ma, hell no. Really? Oh, no, hell no. So you you can know that she fucked other random people. No, I would have just like me and China Mac. I'm doing with the music. I would have just used her fiber voice cut to help me to, to build me all the way back up on five five three. But I'm your friend. She's fucked all your ops and shit, and you you don't give a fuck about that, right? <laughs> you probably, you probably do. Cut. I don't know. And you yourself, you said like sixty year old man and shit too. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, that she, she, it was Christmas time. Cut. Like I said, I know many of sisters that don't got nothing. They never gonna have nothing. Cut. That gonna sell their pussy any fucking day of the week. So, mm. And never gonna mount to nothing. She got a million million dollar voice she better than the rest of them sitches on the blade and all the other sitches out there i'm gonna keep it 50 fish because i could da- oh, i think given my current level of maturity i think i could date a woman who used to be an escort i don't know if i could date a woman who used to walk fig the shit she ain't never walked through the f- she ain't never walked over there oh well that's good josh believe that uh uh, <laughs> that, uh <laughs> well i mean i'm just saying like there's something about just like walking the track no, and not. fucking people she, in she cars was, she wasn't she wasn't no, I, that's amazing if she did yeah. walker okay yeah. she would call the old men right that's what she said she would call the old men. and i was just looking because i see how everybody on the internet like god damn like uh, how can you fuck with something like that and i look at them like uh, most of you motherfuckers that's watching is probably selling pussy right now and don't got a million dollar, a fifty-five million dollar voice to make mm. nothing in life, and you're gonna sell pussy the rest of your life and stay croak. So you did see, and that's why I keep different little sitches I know that want to sell pussy the rest of their life. I keep, I keep them the fuck away from her. So yeah. you did see you was getting a lot of backlash, like on, even the that. Mac Venture fans, they were mad at you and Tania back together. I don't give a fuck on neighborhood crit. 